Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And here's a look at the stories making news on this Thursday night. Authorities are offering a $5,000 reward for a suspect caught on camera forcing his way into a Sunrise home. Surveillance video shows the moments the man rushed into the woman's home at the Lakeside Manor Apartments back in March. The suspect then reportedly targeted another woman in that area. The victim says he approached her while he was touching himself. Sunrise police believe he's responsible for more crimes in the area. If you know anything, call Broward Crime Stoppers 954-493-TIPS. And a building in Hope Village has been deemed unsafe. Residents have until April 25th to move out of the Majestic Isle condominium after officials conducted its 60-year recertification over the weekend. And a roof drain caused a partial ceiling collapse following last week's historic flooding. According to that report, the apartment unit had several issues such as sagging floors and termite damage. Officials plan to hold a meeting with residents to discuss the evacuation. The flood cleanup continues across South Florida. Residents in Fort Lauderdale's Edgewater neighborhood had to be rescued from their homes after the record rainfall and have since returned to find walls, floors, and furniture ruined. A North Carolina Christian ministry called Samaritan's Purse has stepped in and gathered volunteers who are going house to house to help clean up and get residents back on their feet. For well, the accused armed carjackers who allegedly led law enforcement agencies on a tri-county chase yesterday are now behind bars. Edward Foster and Matthew Geimer, both 22, are both facing federal charges. Sky 10 captured the end of that chase in Tamarack, which one suspect ran, swam across the canal, and was eventually found inside of a home. The duo have a violent criminal history and are being held without bond. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always go to our website for more information, local10.com. Be safe out there and see you back tomorrow.